Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joseph Ward, and welcome to my Own the Shoulders of Giants YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you share this channel. And that notification button, click that notification button so every time I drop a new video, you will know what's going on. African history at your fingertips through this channel. You're getting biographies of your sung and unsung heroes right at your fingertips. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about On the Shoulders of Giants. Well, you can learn about yourself and we tell our own stories. Peace out. Judge William Henry Hasty. On November 17, 1904, William Henry Hasty Jr. was born to parents William Hasty Sr. and Roberta Hasty in Knoxville, Tennessee. In 1916, the Hasty family moved from Knoxville, Tennessee to Washington, D.C., where Hasty would attend Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School and graduate as the valedictorian of his 1921 senior class. After graduation, Hasty would move to Amherst, Massachusetts, where he would attend Amherst College, graduating magna cum laude and Phi Beta Kappa in 1925. For two years, he would become a teacher in Bordertown, New Jersey. He then attended Harvard Law School, where he would earn his Bachelor of Law, his Doctor of Judicial Science in 1930, and he became a member of the Harvard Law Review. Also in 1930, Hasty would pass the bar exam for Washington, D.C., before he would begin working as a solicitor for the Department of Interior until 1937. He was an advisor for the Department of Interior on racial issues. Hasty would create a partnership with Charles Hamilton Houston, who ran his own law firm called the Law Firm of Charles Hamilton Houston. Houston and his father, William Houston, led the firm before their partnership with Hasty, creating the law firm of Houston, Houston & Hasty. William Houston was the dean of the Howard Law School and soon became a professor teaching the legendary figure Thurgood Marshall. Don't buy where you can't work was the motto of the New Negro Alliance, an organization in which Hasty was a founding member of. The New Negro Alliance was an organization based originally in Washington, D.C., which used protests and other forms of public demonstration to promote civil rights. One of Hasty's most popular cases was the New Negro Alliance versus the Sanitary Grocery Company. Blacks were issued an injunction by the local court for picketing the grocery store for not hiring blacks. Hasty got off to a slow start in overturning the injunction. He lost the case in an initial trial as well as in an appeals court, and the case was finally overturned in a U.S. Supreme Court. Hasty's persistence led to a landmark victory which gave blacks and other groups of people the right to a peaceful labor protesting without the fear of an injunction. This particular decision was called the Norris LaGuardia Act. The success of the case made Hasty a popular figure in the civil rights movement. It led to Hasty becoming an advisor on racial matters for Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1933. As an advisor, Hasty drafted legislation which affected politics in the U.S. Virgin Islands. The legislation changed policies allowing the residents of the Virgin Islands to vote without facing discrimination. Following the legislation, Hasty was appointed as a district judge in the U.S. Virgin Islands by President Roosevelt. The appointment made Hasty the first black federal judge in the U.S. Hasty did not complete his four-year term because he became the dean of Howard Law School in 1939. Hasty became a law professor while serving as the dean of the Howard Law School. He even had the pleasure of becoming a professor of Thurgood Marshall. Later in Hasty's and Marshall's law career, they would work together as co-lawyers in the Smith v. Allwright case that ruled against poll taxes being levied against black voters. In 1940, Hasty would work with the Secretary of War, Henry Stimson, to fight for equal treatment of black soldiers in the armed forces. On January 15, 1943, Hasty gave up his position in protest of the continued unequal treatment of black soldiers. Later in 1943, he would receive the NAACP Spin Garn Medal for his work in the fight for equal rights for black Americans. In 1946, Hasty was appointed the territorial governor of the U.S. Virgin Islands by President Harry S. Truman. Hasty was appointed to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit in 1949 by President Truman. This appointment made Hasty the first black to serve as an appellate judge, which he served for 22 years. In 1950, he was confirmed and commissioned by the United States as an appellate judge, but was never appointed to the Supreme Court because he was a black man. 
1968, Hasty became the chief judge of the Third Circuit Court. Hasty died in 1976 before breaking barriers as well as fighting for the rights of blacks in America. He used his passion for his people and the prominence of his legal position to help make significant changes in the legal system. Judge William Henry Hasty, we proudly stand on your shoulders. For more information, please visit www.ontheshoulders1.com. And to learn more about the On the Shoulders of Giants nonprofit organization, visit www.ontheshoulders.org.